think of ourselves as a slightly different festival in that we do things slightly differently. Um, one of the things we're really keen on is breaking down the barriers between the audience and performers and trying to find a new audience for classical music. And one of the key events that uh, we're doing that with this year is something called Autumn Lates. Autumn Lates is a series of um, events across Brighton and Hove taking place throughout October and November. And our event, which is on the 27th of October, is in the amazing St Bartholomew's Church on Anne Street in, in Brighton. And it's just the most fantastic venue. Uh, it's, it's the tallest church in Europe. And you go in there and it's like you're in Italy in Venice or something. It doesn't look like it from the outside, it looks very red brick and boring, but it's actually the most amazing building and the most incredible acoustics. And what we've done is we stripped all the chairs out so it's a big, empty, cavernous space. And we have five fantastic young ensembles who we selected by audition through our Early Music Live scheme, which is for supporting young performers at the start of their careers. And they will be performing around the church. It gives the audience a really unique experience of what it's like to be up close to amazing musicians. We also have very atmospheric lighting. Um, it's not the whole thing of I'm going to a classical concert and sitting in a formal row and I daren't breathe. That's very much not what this experience is about. Also, we've really challenged the groups to try and do something a bit different to bear in mind that this is an audience that perhaps don't normally go to classical concerts and so we challenge them to work with other artists from other disciplines. The Borromini Quartet are working with a shadow puppeteer. Another group working with an actor, uh, yet another group have worked with a filmmaker to develop a piece of film that works alongside the music. So it's very much designed as a way into classical music. My name is Naomi Burrell and I'm a violinist performing at this year's Brighton Early Music Festival. This year I'm going to be performing with my string quartet, which is a classical string quartet. We use period instruments. And we're going to be playing um, music by Boccherini. It's a big favourite of ours as a group. We've decided to work with a shadow puppeteer, um, Matthew Robbins and a dancer called Justina Janisevska, who's also a choreographer. We imagine celebration at night in the streets of Madrid, and this is kind of capturing it in a kind of childlike way with the shadow puppets. Um, and Justina, the dancer, kind of weaves between us. Last year there was this incredible atmosphere where it really felt like a show with the lights and um, people lying on the floor. I mean, people doing anything they wanted, really. Um, but yet, still listening really hard. We didn't have to compete with talking or anything like that. So it's quite an incredible, unique event, really. Um, can't wait for this year. The second event that you might be interested in if you've never been to a classical music concert before is on the 1st of November and this is uh, very similar to the Autumn Lates event. It very much comes out of um, a similar event we did last year with two fantastic young groups who really wowed the audience then and they'll be doing um, different things in um, St Mary's Church and the Rock Gardens. Again, lit very sort of ambient kind of space, breaking up the performance of the music's happening all around you. It's slightly more formal in that people will be sitting in seats rather than having the experience of going right up close to the, the performers, but it's a very different concert experience. 
the final event is um, the Florentine Intermedi, which sounds like a weird title. It's the most amazing, extraordinary piece of music. Um, it, it's a, a really collaborative affair. It was the best composers of the day back in 1589 got together to, to write this piece of music that was written for a complete extravaganza. If you think big celebrity wedding and then treble it, you're getting close to what uh, the original performance was like. Uh, they commissioned pieces so that the, the musicians were performing on clouds actually moving clouds so they had this creaking machinery from 1589 that was state of the art for our production we don't have the creaking machinery <laughs> we've updated it to the 21st century we have amazing state of the, of, of the art lighting and we have um, a brighton based um, aerial dance troupe called zoo aerial who will be um, performing up above so instead of having clouds we've got we, th these amazing aerial dance dances on ropes um, and the idea of the piece is very much about the gods up here and the mortals down on, on earth and so having that aerial dance element mirrors the whole idea of the original musicians on clouds who were the gods. It's very rare to see this, this work performed live. It's certainly never been performed live with the kind of visual extravaganza or a sense of the visual extravaganza that would have been part of the original. So it's a really rare thing to come and see and very exciting and visual if you've never been to a classical performance before.